What a beautiful morning it is today, my disciples. I got something different today. Something that I've never done before. But I've got the GoPro. A snorkel. I've got one last thing in the back that you probably cannot see right now. But I've got the rest of my scuba gear. We're gonna be going out in scuba gear and we're gonna be finding the bass. I'm gonna go underwater and find the bass, what the bass are doing right now, what the bait are do is doing right now, and just give y'all an in-water experience of the fish. It's gonna be fun today. It's gonna be a long day, and we're gonna get tons and tons and tons of bluegill. I know that for sure. So my theory is the bluegill are spawning. They're probably on the beds right now, and the bass just have to be eating them. So we're gonna see, but what can I say? I'll see y'all out in the water. Or out in the water. Out in the water. Okay guys, let's review what the fish were doing today. Actually not today, I'm actually here editing this video like, what's today? Today's Tuesday, so two days later from when I took this video. Anyways, basically what the fish were doing was they were at structure points, they were at points like land points underwater points and they were also at drop offs and they were still they were like roaming around bluegill beds so definitely these bass in this video are definitely post spawn bass the ones that i was recording they were like in 16 foot water i think even at one point i saw them in like 
18 foot, 19 foot water. So just know that whenever you're gonna be fishing, that they're probably still in post spawn. And you wanna probably be using your medium diving crankbaits, your stick baits, just whatever can get down there and get those fish out of the water and into y'all's hands. I had fun making this video. This was pretty cool. It was pretty cool for me to go down and live like a bass. But uh, please, if you enjoyed my content, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And also, watch my next video. Peace.